Welcome to the second Demon Souls walkthrough. I'm your host, Richard Rodriguez, QA lead on Demon Souls. How do you take an already rich gaming experience like Demon Souls and make it more captivating? By using a PlayStation Network account, online connection, and special items known as Eye Stones, you can unlock the invisible world around you and connect with other players in a number of remarkable ways. Once connected, you'll be able to see apparitions of other players fade in and out of view. Watch them closely. They may lead you to hidden passageways or provide you with a much needed clue. The fresh blood at your feet holds valuable information. With an active online connection, the stains do more than mark where another player met their demise. They become your ghostly guide. Activate the stain and you'll be able to watch the final actions of the fallen player in grim detail. Be wary of these. The more blood that has been shed, the deadlier the area. Use what you see to prepare yourself, so that you may not have to share the same fate. You and your fellow adventurers can communicate in less painful ways as well. Demon Souls uses a clever message system that allows players to weave their own living strategy guide right into the game, or rather, onto the ground. Glowing text marks areas where players have left messages that warn of impending danger, give battle tips, provide helpful hints, or alert the player of a hidden trap or treasure. To make communication more streamlined, players choose from a variety of customizable phrases. Be wary as you read these messages. Some may try to trick you. Look for a message's rating before deciding whether to trust or ignore the advice given. Leave a message that gets recommended, and you'll be rewarded with a full health bar. Under certain conditions, you can do more than just communicate with other players. You can physically fight alongside or against them. In Demon Souls, death is inescapable, and comes with the nasty side effect of cutting your maximum health points in half. But it's a necessary evil for teaming up with another player. Only players who have died and taken on soul form can either be summoned or sneak into another player's game. There are only two things needed in order to display a soul sign. To be currently dead and to have a blue eye stone, which players obtain early on in the game. There's only one catch. When you place a soul sign in a stage, it will only be visible to players who have yet to defeat that stage's boss. A summoned player can help the living player and sometimes an additional phantom player in defeating a boss demon. This allows the living player to defeat a creature he otherwise wouldn't be able to on his own, and allows the phantoms to regain their living bodies. This option is much easier than trying to defeat a monster while alone in his soul form, or using life restoring items which are few and far between. Just remember, even with three players, monsters won't play nice. Speaking of not playing well with others, should your desire to regain your body make you bloodthirsty, and you obtain a black eye stone, you can invade another player's game and take their life to regain your own. Test your ability to use stealth and strategy and prove yourself as a dynamic warrior. Be forewarned, your potential victim will be notified of your coming and it won't go down easily. Remember, living players have maximum HP and can summon up to two phantom players for backup, while you'll have half your maximum HP and no extra help. The land itself will be against you too. If you die as a result of falling into a pit, succumbing to fire, or any other environmental hazard, you'll lose one stat point. Dying to get your hands on more souls? Using a Red Eye Stone, you can be summoned into another player's world to duel them for souls. The Red Eye Stone will create a red soul sign in a living player's world, which will summon the player who created it as a black phantom. Players can use the Red Eye Stone while living, but upon being summoned, they will change into soul form. Once summoned, the battle for souls is on. The defeated player will lose a soul level, while the winning player will earn the souls that were traded to the Maiden in Black to reach that level. In the next Demon Souls walkthrough, we'll take a look at the force that drives it all, the Tendency System. 